Hey guys, it's Celine here and today I'm sitting down to talk to you guys about my November favorites and October. This is kind of like a mesh between the past three months, I would say. I haven't done a favorites video in such a long time. I'm gonna start off with the beauty and makeup section of this video. So the first thing I want to show you guys is something that it's not it's kind of new it's about like a week or two old but I know I'm obsessed with it already because I've been wearing it all the time and I'm seriously I'm so in love with this product it's the Bobbi Brown um, shimmer brick palette in the um, like shade number pink quartz um, Taylor just has this one in the um, quad called bronze but I went there and I realized I have basically the exact same shades except I don't really have this kind of shades like the bronze one I have a lot of golds in my collection for makeup, but this one is a lot more pink and um, sparkly and glittery and I just like this one better. So I picked this one up and I'm seriously so in love. You guys see me wear it in um, my holiday festive makeup tutorial, so I'll leave that link down below if you haven't seen that already. Um, so yeah, I'm seriously in love with it. I see why Taylor Swift loves it so much. I use it as more of an eyeshadow than a highlighter because um, you can use it as a highlighter. I think it's actually meant to be a highlighter, but I just like the way it looks on the eyes as well as the cheekbones. Another recommendation by the one and only Taylor Swift, it's these NARS lip pencils. Oh my gosh, I can't with these. I got one, I got the one Dragon Girl, and I was like, you know what, nope, I gotta buy more, so I made a stupid video where I even asked Taylor, oh, you know, like, what NARS lip pencils do you use besides this one? She said Dolce Vita, and she also said Luxembourg, so naturally I bought all the ones that she's mentioned. So basically what happened was she reblogged my post on Tumblr and that video was made at like 10.30 at night. I had no makeup on. I was laying in bed with my mom's like purple shawl over me. I looked so beyond not acceptable for camera and of course that's the video that she saw that I posted and she replied to it and I got so many, I got like thousands of notes and replies and oh my gosh, I just... Anyway, so I got these and I'm so 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 happy that she replied to me because these are seriously the bomb.com I've gotten a bunch of messages on tumblr and everything um, asking me to swatch them So I'm just gonna put a little clip of me just swatching them right now. Okay, so this one is Dolce Vita and this is what that looks like. It's a very nude pink It's a very 90s lipstick I would say this one is the shade Luxembourg and it's this like bright pink color So it's a, very similar to um, Dragon Girl except it's shiny. It's a satin finish rather than a matte finish and the most famous one is Dragon Girl. This is what that looks like. It's a bright matte red lip color. It's a very subtle difference, but when you wear it, you can definitely tell that this one is much more pink than this one. I'm so in love with those products that I had to get the um, NARS sharpener, which was like $6 at Sephora. So like, I literally, I just, I am obsessed with these colors. And it stays on your lips for such a long time. Like I went to um, a football game and I was playing the piccolo for several hours. And by the end of the game, I was wearing the um, Dragon Girl one. And by the end of the game, like it was perfectly intact. It looked like I just applied my um, lip pencil on. Like it stayed on for four to five hours without me having to reapply it or check on it. And it stained my sleeve. Awesome! My next makeup product is this Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Sin. I love this so much. I like to apply this right before I apply the Bobbi Brown one or just any sparkly eyeshadow because it has a champagne color to it. It's more of a base, I would say, for the sparkles I'm going to put on because it helps for all eyeshadow to stay in place. It's not going to crease your eyeshadow. It's just going to keep it in place. If you ever try the regular one, it's very similar to that except it um, has a hint of shimmer in it and you literally need about a drop. Like, and when I say a drop, I mean like you just need to tap your finger on the very top and you're good. The next product is a foundation. Although I'm not wearing any um, foundation today, this is the Hello Flawless by Benefit Oxygen Wow Foundation. I reached back into this. I've had this for a year also and I just love it so much. It's such a lightweight foundation and has no harsh chemicals on it. It has a little bit of sunscreen and there's really like nothing harmful in this that will really um, get into your pores or really damage your face. Although foundation is not the best for you, this one um, has really like nothing bad in it. Okay, the perfume that I've been wearing all of like the past like three months is the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Enchanted Rollerball. Oh, wow, I'm almost dropping it and breaking it. Okay, I'm not just saying that because I'm such a big fan of Taylor Swift, but this smell, it smells like cake and vanilla and it's so sweet and I, I love it. I have grown a candle obsession and when I say obsession, I mean an obsession like it's really, really bad. Um, and my room just keeps smelling like Christmas and sweets and I... Uh, not complaining, but my parents aren't exactly the 
uh, most supportive of that, but I love the one called Vanilla Snowflake by Bath & Body Works. I've used it a little bit, um, I mean I've used it a lot, but it shows up as a little bit. The one that I've been using the most is the Marshmallow Fireside one, like I've used half of it, and I only bought all of these within, what, like three weeks ago or something like that? When I posted that haul video, like it's been about three weeks I'd say. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, I've used so much of this, and I also love the one called Tis the Season. I've used about half of this also. This smells like Christmas, this smells like marshmallows, and this smells like vanilla, obviously, by the name of the candle, and I I love them so much. I usually light them right before I'm studying, I'm doing homework, because, I don't know, I find that it's very peaceful and calming. My last favorite, I've been taking so many pictures of these past few months, especially um, with whenever I'm with my friends, I always just bring my Polaroid um, Fujifilm camera with me everywhere. I'm obsessed, if you couldn't tell by my walls and everything. That's me and Taylor Swift right there. A couple of you guys probably are wondering like, oh, like what's that picture? It's different from the other ones. This is the actual Polaroid picture of me and Taylor Swift, by the way, so. So I love this so much. Like my entire wall, like where I film makeup videos, um, I'll try to, I'll try to film there next time that I sit down if I actually remember to. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below any video suggestions you have for me because I always like to do videos that you guys want to see. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Instagram, Twitter, which is at bbuster6. And if you want to follow me on Tumblr and message me and become BFFs with me through there, it's at wildest dreams. So not wildest, but wildest dreams. Everything will be linked down below. So make sure to check the down bar and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and you want more favorites videos. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye everyone!